and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a short while, mainly because my boyfriend has been working from home. He's on calls for like eight hours a day and I just, we did like sound tests around the flat and interesting fact about our flat is that we actually don't have any, but all our walls are floating and we don't have any doors apart from the bathroom. We're very in each other's space right now. And um, he's in the office today for the first time, which is really exciting. So I thought I would do a naked haul for you. It's very neutral. It's very basics, which is kind of my style anyway. And the odd bit here and there has been inspired by Pinterest posts um which i can flash up actually at the same time as i show you the outfits because i just find pinterest the best place to inspire me um particularly for all my like get ready with me reels that i've been doing recently on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram you absolutely should my mid-sized pinterest um get ready with me's have been so popular and i feel like it's really helped kind of bigger girls show that you don't just need to wear certain things all the time you can like switch up your style and all that sort of stuff but anyway i'm rambling we're going to start with the first item which is what i'm wearing now so it's this white cardigan with kind of mother of pearl style buttons and the trim is there's a special word for this and i can't think it's not scalloped it's it's something else but it's like a delicate frill and a slight balloon sleeve on the sleeve as well as that trim along the bottom and i've styled the outfits mainly with naked pieces just to show you how i would complete the look all links and sizes for everything will be below with naked i tend to go for an xl or an EU46. I find they are the sizes that fit me best, same for jeans. But I thought this was really cute. I love a really light color. I love how bright and like uplifting it makes an outfit. And this is incredibly soft. It's the softest item of the haul. And you know when you put something on and you just feel instantly comfy, and I always say this, but if I'm wearing the item for the talky part, then it means I'm really comfortable in it. So that's always a good sign. And it's just a bit different. I think Cardi's are really cute. I especially love pairing them with jeans. I would recommend this one. This is from the curve section of the website. Naked are really good at having a dedicated curve section, which is fit for curve. I definitely can go for the core sizes, but I feel more comfortable and I'm more confident that size will fit if it is from the curve section. And then the next item, these blue jeans. If you saw my last naked haul, and by the way, I've done four naked hauls. If this is the first one you're seeing, go check out the others as well. The last naked haul, I tried jeans for the first time and then I was just completely inspired. E46 fits me very well. And I love particularly the length on these. I'm five foot 10. I need really long jeans. And I decided to go for a bit more of like a wider boot it's not a flare because it doesn't go in at the leg but it's kind of wide all over you'll be able to see in the cutaways a lot better and i really love their tan tag on the back it's very flattering and i really loved a bright blue my jeans are kind of black or cream or really light blue so i wanted something darker and yes they're really comfortable in fact the naked jeans that i got on my last vlog i've been wearing like non-stop and i think it's a great sign when the jeans are comfortable check these out specifically if you like me are curvy and tall e46 and the next i have um a basic tee this is e46 again and um they're just soft they fit me really well. They're really easy to style with jeans. And I feel like I will forever be influenced by my um, past modeling life where we would, as a uniform for castings and even going to the job with a client, wear like a black t-shirt with some blue jeans. Um, so they've got really great basics on there. And I just want to bulk up on my basics in my wardrobe so that I always just have a very like classic, easy to style, very versatile wardrobe. I think that's what I'm aiming for is like high quality, good pieces that I love wearing over and over again. And there are so many options and I just open up my wardrobe and I feel inspired and it's easy. And that's what I'm aiming for. I actually have a couple of Pinterest boards, which I think are open. So type in my name, you'll be able to see the boards that I have for like transitional dressing. But there's nothing really necessarily special about this, but the fact that I wear them day in, day out, they are my essential piece all throughout the year as well. Like not just summer where I would wear something like this with 
um, some cycling shorts. I would use this as a layering piece in winter now as well. Next item, and I loved the way I styled this outfit together, it was just all black, was this black cropped knit. Really good length on me with the sleeves. I'd say it's, yeah, it, it is cropped in the body here, so I needed some trousers that were high-waisted enough so i actually chose my naked black trousers again from the haul before they're like a wide leg almost like an office style wide leg suit trouser type thing which i just am in love with at the moment we did um i could get ready with me real recently which has nearly six million views and i think that one of the reasons it's so popular is because i was wearing wide leg trousers and they just look so good and so teamed the black trousers with the black knit and I think it just works it looks really good then I think I wore it with like white converse or something and a naked black bag and it's just so simple but I love my outfits being kind of like simple dare I say chic because I wouldn't like classify myself as a chic person but it just it felt kind of put together and cool and not too try hard and I felt comfortable in it um, and weirdly I was actually missing a black knit from my wardrobe for so long which is silly because I'd go to like style my get ready with me reels and so many times I'd pinned a black knit and I never had one. So I knew that for this naked haul, I had to pick myself up a black knit, so that's what I did. Next one, basics, but with a bit of an edge, it's this Zodiac t-shirt. I am a Pisces for anyone wondering, 7th of March, I'll be 30, 30. Um, but I picked this up because I really loved it. It was oversized. And I just love oversized stuff now. I know it's a real trend, but I think it looks cool. And I like it on curve as well, because I think typically it would be tight stuff on curve and like show off your curves thing. But I do like wearing really oversized baggy stuff, particularly around the house. But this just like tucked into some blue jeans or something. I mean, it's like, it's big. And I'm so glad that they do have this kind of sizing available on Naked. But just with a little Zodiac logo here not the biggest fan of like logos and definitely not brand names but i thought this was inconspicuous enough to just be like yes i like my horoscope so i got this one and i just thought it's yeah a basic but with something a little bit different about it and it's yeah really really big so you know earlier i was talking about the reel that went it's the most viral piece of content I've ever made now. Yeah, nearly 6 million views, it's crazy. And I do think it was my wide leg grey trousers which really helped. They are out of stock, but I found these on Naked. They're really similar. The difference with these is that they have quite a bit of stretch to them actually, which I think is quite rare for a kind of suit style trouser. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're not jeans, they're not cords, their wide leg, the kind of thing that you could wear in an office or just to smarten up an outfit. Obviously, I'm never in an office, but I do love the wide leg style and I think it looks great on midsize and curve. And I don't think that's ever an area that like we've forayed into and I really like it. And they are comfier than jeans and they look more like smarter and, and more dressed up. I don't know why we've been wearing jeans the whole time because wide legs really are for the win. They are so easy to style with like just a basic t-shirt and a blazer and then some trainers because then you have like the blazer being a bit more smart with the t-shirt that's casual, with the trousers that are smart, with some like Converse shoes or even a chunky wide trainer and you just have that like casual, smart, casual, smart look. And it just works so well with a bag and some sunglasses. I've also paired it with a trench coat as well. I found a trench to be really versatile in styling with this haul. But yes, these are stretchy, fit my curves, long enough for me again. And if you are, look at the stretch, if you are looking for something a bit different in your wardrobe, I just really, really, really would recommend that you try some wide leg trousers. And then next is a pair of black jeans. Again, I felt way more confident ordering with uh, jeans with naked this time because I knew that they fit from last time. These have belt loops, long enough for me, you can see in the cutaway, fit me really well. These, do these have stretch in? They do have a little bit of stretch. I found they were quite rigid around like the hips and the waist, which can hold you in. It depends if you like really loose stretch fit. I would say that this is a bit more rigid, but I mean, it does have stretch in the leg, but yeah, I found around the midsection, it was a bit more rigid, which just held me in. Yeah, belt loops, classic tag on the back. 
and I just wanted to try a different shape to see how I feel about it because my bottom half is bigger than my top half and I always see stuff about like flares and wide leg and just any other style other than skinny being really flattering and well fitting for curve so I just wanted to experiment a bit with that and see if it worked let me know if you think it did and I always like to keep the styling with things like this just quite plain and monochromatic I saw somebody I think it's probably Olivia talking on her stories about only keeping to like maximum three colors in an outfit and it really helps because in my mind being like fashionable and being able to put loads of different colors together is a real talent but actually so much of the time it's just about being more simple and when you stick to one or two colors you can then change the texture and then put that together and I think a lot of the time that's what makes a really good outfit I like to keep it plain and basic and neutral and simple and versatile but yes just wanted to try a different style of jeans and so pleased that the naked ones fit me both width and length and then the last clothing item is I'm wearing the bottoms now this gray would you call it like a sweatsuit sweat set I love the naked sweat sets the very first time I worked with them I picked up the cream one and then I picked up the black one and now I've got the grey one and I just keep pinning things that have grey sweatsuits and usually people style it with a beige trench with some white trainers. I think that just works so well, they're so comfy and they are extra extra fleecy inside, they are a pleasure to wear. I'll show you the bottoms now. So I'm really pleased that they fit me. They have this drawstring tie here, obviously with pockets and then an elasticated bit around the ankle. And you could obviously wear them together, you could wear them separately and they're just comfy. Like if I wake up and it's a Sunday here and it's sunny and I'm just like hair up in a bun, no makeup, I'll go for my naked sweat sets. But I think I can't think what the actual word is for them. Maybe we just need to make sweat sets thing. But yes, if you are looking for a new like tracksuit lounge vibe, then I could really recommend them. I feel like they are really good for fitting curve. They have their sweat sets. Some people will be commenting being like, it's called this, but they have them in their core collection and their curve collection. So I feel like there are a lot of sizes and the curve sizes go a lot bigger than whatever I got, which is probably a 46. Yes, 46. So I recommend these, love these, very cozy, very comfy. And then I picked up some accessories. If you haven't been on the Naked site before, check them out. I would say they are my favorite e-com ever. They shoot their clothes so well and also their accessories. They really sell the lifestyle. Um, their imagery online is just so good and it gives you a better idea of how to style things as well. I wish my Instagram feed looked like their e-com site. It's, they're really good at it. Um, and I picked up this bag, completely plain, um, only a tiny bit of silver hardware here, but it has this asymmetric fold. And I just found like when I was putting together outfits for the video that I kept on reaching for the bag. And I think that's a really good sign. So I, I'd say I'm not very feminine in the things that I choose. So when it comes to handbags, like I'm really not a designer kind of gal, although I am looking at a Loewe puzzle bags, they are really nice. Um, but I'm gonna sell the one and only designer handbag that I have because it's just a bit too like girly and feminine for me and I like something that's a bit more everyday and almost like a slight nod to being a bit more masculine and I felt like when I styled this bag, it was just simple, like it wasn't trying to be anything that it wasn't, it wasn't like fluffy or pretty, it was just easy to style basic and it's actually quite thick so it can hold quite a bit. Check out the Naked Accessories page if you haven't. I really love shopping on it. And next, um, found these glasses. Really love the Naked glasses. I think they do a great job at curating some of the best kind of styles and shapes. Um, these ones are a bit more of a square shape. I tend to go for either completely round or a bit more of a cat eye, but I've been using the same like two pairs of glasses over and over again. So I wanted to try something that was tortoise shell and just looked a little bit different. So let me know if you think they suit me. I'm a bit further down to show my eyebrows. Oh, I've got fly in my face. 
so the glasses love them love tortoise shell i think the coloring like it suits my coloring and just a different shape slightly slightly 90s i suppose and i feel like i need to go for slightly angular more geometric shapes because my face is so round so i need to contrast that final item accessory i will um show you the picture that inspired this purchase it's these long boots they have stretchy side bits i'm sure that's not the proper name um but it means that if you do have large legs like i do then you can actually get into them um although i would say if you have larger legs than i do then you might struggle to get into these ones i really love the shape it's a good size heel and a good height on me as well i think this with like black skinnies or maybe even leggings actually and a blazer almost gives like horse rider chic so i really love these they have great shoe selection on naked i'm very pleased with how these look they're just so pretty and cool so yes these are those i think that's all of the items today so thank you very much for watching my naked haul i hope you liked it let me know what you think of the filming setup as well um we've got a bit of industrial kind of action going on there if you haven't seen my warehouse tour i will link it here for you because like creating content in this flat has just changed the game for me i feel so lucky the amount of light that we have coming in as well is just beautiful it makes such a difference to filming we are still trying to work out what to do with cushions for this sofa because it's it's not coming up as green as it really is on the video but it's very very green and i like this kind of orange color with it with it i think this is an okay patterned one and then i've got something neutral but people are like it needs more texture so maybe like a textured throw or something but if you have any ideas let me know because if you watch my apartment tour you'll know that i was struggling three months ago with cushions and i'm still struggling i find interiors so hard to style and pick but anyway thank you so much for watching my haul if you haven't watched my instagram get ready with me reels i massively suggest that you do for some ideas and you can click the little save tab on the ig reels so that you can come back to it at a later date yeah so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned some stuff about styling <laughs> and i will see you in the next video bye Thank you.